Welcome. This is what is happening on the Sun today, the 1st of August 2011. Happy August everybody. Today is the 193rd anniversary of the birth of Maria Mitchell. You might well ask who Maria Mitchell was, but actually that's what I'm asking as the trivia question. What notable scientific first did Maria Mitchell achieve? The answer will be given at the end. Well, here we go again. Since the last time we met, the Sun has produced a series of eight sea flares. These are all sharp small flares which indicate growth in one or more regions. So let's take a look at the regions and see what's been going on. We still only have five numbered regions on the disk. In the southern hemisphere, 1264 remains a couple of very weak spots. Region 1265 has not grown uh, significantly and remains a very modest region. Region 1260 seems relatively stable. Most of the action that we've been having in the last couple of days coming from region 1261 and 1263. 1261 has evolved even more. The trailing part of the region seems to have decayed away, but those spots coming up ahead of it seem to have developed quite significantly overnight. Meanwhile, region 1263 seems to be showing some signs of life after being relatively passive for the last few days. So let's focus on 1261 and 1263 in the movies from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory. You'll see clearly the evolution of the spots in uh, 1261. However, 1263 is much more subtle, both in the magnetic and in the optical movie. You, so you may have to go into full screen mode to see the changes. In the Transition Region movie, we've still not had any eruptions of filaments or prominences. But look at our two active regions and you'll see that they're beginning to produce a series of small eruptive events. Is this an omen for a future increase in activity? In the low temperature coronal movie, it's interesting I think that the 1263 is still the weakest of the three regions, yet it's producing some of the activity that we're seeing currently. Toward the end of the high temperature coronal movie, you can see a brand new region coming over the northeast limb. This is the one I was talking about yesterday. It looks quite intense, and so we should start seeing some sunspots from it tomorrow. We continue to see very faint coronal mass ejections off the northeast limb, probably associated with these regions, but we don't seem to have had any major eruptive events from them as yet. From the ACE data we see that the solar wind temperature and velocity has remained high, however the density continues to fall. However, the high energy electron flux after plummeting yesterday seems to be recovering quite nicely today. And perhaps not surprisingly, there's still no sign of any proton events coming from the Sun. The images from the NOAA 15 satellite show that the auroral zone is quite agitated, but the KP index has been varying between 1 and 3, which is still relatively quiet. So in summary then, the X-ray background has risen to the B5 level, the sunspot number is at quite a respectable 128, the radio sun intensity has risen to 119 solar flux units, the solar wind speed remains high, at 580 kilometers per second, but with a density of below one proton per cubic centimeter, and geospace conditions are rated as quiet. My forecast then is that there's a good chance of getting C flares, and M flares are possible, but the chance of getting X flares is quite low. Sunspot number will remain high, the solar wind speed will likely drop, but the chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm is quite remote. In the slightly longer term, there's a region in the northeast that's likely to come over in the next day or so. It looks quite bright, so it's a promising source of increased activity. Our trivial question was what was the major scientific accomplishment achieved by Maria Mitchell? It turns out that she was the first female professional astronomer in the United States. She also discovered a comet which was somewhat quaintly known as Miss Mitchell's Comet. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now. Thank you.